Hi guys, it's Red. In this lesson, we are going to create our first Python program. Let's get started. First, create a folder for the entire course and name it Python Tutorial. Open VS Code. Open the nearly created folder. Yes, I trust. Close the welcome page. And now let's create the working file. Lesson 01 hyphen string dot py. Don't forget dot py because the .py extension is signaling to the interpreter that we are going to program in the Python language. Now let's create our first program. Print parentheses position mark hello world. Click on the triangle in the upper right corner to run the program. And the phrase hello world will appear in the terminal. Now let's analyze it. We use the print function capable of displaying everything inside the parentheses. In this case, a string. You can recognize a string because it's delimited by quotation marks. You can use the print function in many ways. Let's try another use of the print function. Print, parenthesis, quotation mark, hello, quotation mark, comma, quotation mark, world, and run it. The compiler has processed our program line by line. In the first line, it identified an instruction to print the string hello world. In the second line, it uh, identified an instruction to print two strings separated by a space, which is why we obtain again hello world. This illustrates that in programming languages you can achieve the same result in different ways. The rule is to choose the best way, and if there isn't one, stick with the most comfortable approach for you. Now let's discover another way to print hello world. So print parenthesis quotation mark hello quotation mark plus quotation mark space quotation mark plus quotation mark world and run it. another hello world, but this time we concatenated three strings using the plus sign. As you might have noticed, an issue arises when try to insert a quotation mark inside the string. So let's try it. Print, parenthesis, quotation mark, I'm a string. Quotation mark. As you can see, the apostrophe terminates the first string, and the third quotation mark at the end opens another string, and the charts in the middle are not recognized. One way to solve this issue is to use the backslash. Let's see how. Backslash and run it. And as you can see, we obtain I'm a string. Another way to solve the issue would have been using double quotation marks to identify a string. Let's try. Print parenthesis double quotation mark. I'm a string. And run it.
Now let's try to use backslash to create a new line. Print parenthesis, quotation mark, line 1, backslash n, line 2, and run it. Line 1 in the first line, line 2 in the second line. We can even use the backslash to tab a line. Let's try it. Backslash T and run it. And as you can see, the first line has a tab. Talking about special character, the hash it's used to create comments, providing useful information for the programmers to understand the code quickly. Everything after the hash will not be considered or printed. Let's create our first comment. Hash, I'm a comment. As you can see, it's not been printed. To recap, let's create another comment using the triple single quotes. Lesson zero 01 hyphen string. So we learn about string, we learn about the print function. And we learn uh, how to concatenate and to use the backslash to create an apostrophe, a new line and a tab. And lastly, we learn two ways to comment on our program. For this lesson is enough. Thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.